Hey, welcome to the channel today. Hey, it's the first video of 2022. I'm excited about that. And we're gonna talk about making you a well-rounded golfer. So there's no better feeling knowing that when you wake up in the morning to go play golf, so that you're gonna play well. So my mission today is to help as many people as possible wake up every day feeling good that they're gonna go out there and play great because of the single plane swing. Hey, I'm super excited about this year. We've been, look, I've been busy. I've been working inside the organization and working on Graves Golf and how we help golfers become single plane, which we call 360 golfers. What does that mean? Listen, I don't know if you're as kind of confused as I am about the world of golf instruction. You know, when you look at it, you kind of see people picking and choosing, hey, I want to learn how to drive the golf ball better or short game over here and putting over here. And boy, it can get confusing to me. And I kind of look at it from a perspective of how, what makes a great golfer, right? What makes a great golfer? And, and the first thing is obviously you need three different parts of the game. You need to have a, a really, really good long game. That's ball striking. You need a really, really good short game, chipping, pitching, uh, bunker shots, short game, and then putting. And then you gotta be able to long putt, short putts, and then you know read greens and all those things. So there's all those things that create a good golfer. Now, if, if you're like me, I heavily focus a lot of times on my long game. <laughs> I, like, I like to hit golf balls, and then my short game gets kind of rusty, and then my putting gets rusty. Ask my brother, he's my main partner. I'll, I'll hit the ball great and putt badly that day, and, you know, stuff like that. So, so it's really, you know, you're out there watching this YouTube channel, you're watching this content, you're, you know, you hopefully you're getting something out of it and you're, and you're improving your game and in, in certain aspects of it. But wouldn't you say that maybe it's time this year that we look at the game and say, I've got to pay attention to all these parts and I need a, a system in place that'll help me get there. And that's what's missing by the way, in golf instruction is where do you go? Where do you go to become a well-rounded golfer? I'm gonna introduce you to that this year. My goal for you as a single planer out there is to give you a total package. We already have it inside Graves Golf. I gotta be honest, we all, we've always done this. We just haven't been very good at being clear on it. I gotta be honest. Well, this year we're getting clarity on it and we're gonna make people 360 golfers. We're gonna well round your game. And that's my goal for you. Now, one of the things about the model, and this is what I'm talking about is the model of becoming a golfer. Think of a circle and think about there's three pies to this piece. And one of the pie pieces is long game, one pie piece is short game, and then one pie piece is putting, right? So you got the three parts of the game. Now all these lead you, you have to be good at all those parts of the game, right? To be a good golfer. Well, there's a fundamental, there's fundamentals to each piece. Let me explain a little bit of that. So if I'm talking about your golf swing, and well, let me just walk you up what that means. Each piece of the pie, which is like a triangle, each piece of the pie, there's a fundamentals that you have to have. For example, a dress position. So on your ball striking, you know, hitting a golf ball, you have to have a great foundation, which means your address position, the tilt of your body, your hand position, the grip, the single plane, getting the club, right? So you have to have the foundation. Then you step up and say, okay, now that I have a great foundation, foot position and all that, I can have, I can work on the positions of the movement, right? Positions would be, okay, now that I have a great foundation, I can work on the positions of my backswing and how I get to the downswing and the positions of my through swing, right? Positions. And then you got to put it all together into a sequence. That means you're going to be swinging, but I got to back up a step. The reason I'm presenting this to you on the channel today is because I'm afraid that golf instruction is going the wrong direction the way it's taught. You're out there trying to learn sequence. Like if you ran, if you, if you picked up something and said, I'm going to go learn to hit it farther, longer shots, right? Everybody markets hitting it longer. What if your positions are bad? What if your foundation is bad and you're out there swinging hard? First of all, you may get injured. Second of all, you, you're not, you, you're not, how many of you actually get success from that? It doesn't work for you because you haven't built it from the ground up. And so, that's why this triangle model of foundation, position, put it together in sequence, and then the final piece, the final piece is application. What do we mean by that? Take it to the course and shoot lower scores. Oh, that's what we want, right? Now, follow me on this, because I'm gonna show you this triangle. Follow me on this, because you guys are trying to apply it 
without having the foundation right. And if you're frustrated with your game, if you're out there struggling, look, I've been there, right? That's why I'm talking to you about this. I've been there in the place where I've struggled. I always, every practice session today, start, start make, check my foundation, check my positions. I may be brief, may not be a lot. I put alignment trainers down to get feedback. This is an accelerator. This helps me speed up the process. So I am always working my way off the model. I'm constantly inside this infinite loop of my model. Foundation, position, sequence, application. Foundation, position, sequence, application. Foundation, position, sequence, application. That's what I'm always doing inside my model, right? So it gives me clarity on exactly what to practice, how to practice, and how to get better. And if I stay inside that loop, I improve. And that's why I'm a good golfer. But that's what's missing. And so that's what I want to talk about is really, now think about this. One final thing, but I'll hit a couple shots. Short game right? There's a foundation to your short game, ball position setup, right? Foundation short game. There's a proper positions of a chipping stroke and a pitching stroke and, and, and there's, then there's a sequence to it. How do you put it together to make a good motion, right? You know, keeping your legs in the proper position, moving your body correctly, proper positions. Then there's the sequence of that and then there's the application of that. Can you do it on the golf course? Can you, can you, you know, hit good solid shots in the right distance, right? There's the application of it. Okay, that's the short game. Now putting. There's foundation, fundamental putting principles to your address, right? Then there's this putting stroke. And then there's the next step, which is putting it together into a fluid stroke that hits the ball the right distance. And the application is, can you make putts? So and again, foundation, positions, sequencing, application, shoot lower scores. System. Everybody, you need a system. And I am, if, if there's one instructor out there that's trying to push you into a system, it's me. A model and a system because I want, I want you to have absolute perfect clarity when you practice and exactly what you're doing because that's the only way you're going to get better. That's why I think out there, what you're running into in the golf world is confusion. Tons of confusion. And I can tell you right now that I am never, I am never confused on, when I practice. I am never confused on what to practice. I'm never confused on how to practice because I have a system in place all the time. And by the way, there's a word I want to throw at you and it's not hitting it longer. It's not hitting it, you know, straighter. It's, it's consistency. I want to make you consistent because look at the end of the day, and I always tell people this when they talk about hitting the ball longer, they're always like, I want to hit it out there 320 yards or whatever. I'm okay. All right, good. I will take 280 right down the middle, right down the middle, right down the middle all day long. And you can have your 330 once in a while, whatever. And, and then you're, you know, 380 in the trees and you're chipping out. The average of that is me being in the middle. I can beat you because look, I want to hit it 302, but I want consistency. That's where my, that's what I want. So you got to have consistency. Otherwise, the game is just not that much fun. All right, here's the driver. Same thing, same foundation, same principles. And what's really funny, you know, I've been, uh, I've been, of course, the new year, sort of working with the trainer. I've been working with this guy about a year. Um, just recently, we changed our workouts a little bit, strength, strength, doing some strength training. I'm sore. <laughs> I'm sore. I've been, uh, yesterday was worse than today though. I got to admit <laughs> yesterday I was a little bit, a little bit sore today. I'm a little less sore than yesterday, but man, it's, it's taken me a while to loosen up. So it's feeling pretty good. I, it's going to take, usually when I feel like this a little bit, when I get a little bit sore, um, just stretching, uh, just loosen up before you start hitting too many golf balls. I hit a few before I start talking to you guys, but all right. So look at the foundation of my single plane. It's feeling pretty good. I killed that. You know, and the other thing too about improvement is that this is, this is my new year's video for you guys to get you all hyped up and ramped up for this year. Um, how do you accelerate it, right? How do you accelerate your learning? What do I mean by acceleration? Um, coaches, 
we can accelerate you, right? Because we're going to keep you on path, keep you accountable, tell you exactly what to do. We're accelerators. That's an accelerator. It's a training aid. Make sure my ball position is in the correct place, stance width, alignment. That's an accelerator. That's helping me speed up my learning. Uh, other accelerators, properly fit clubs, accelerator. So those things are complements to the system, right? So again, I check my ball position, getting some feedback, got my address position. Loosen up a little bit because I'm a little tight. I hit that one a fraction off the toe, not as, not as flush as the one before. Still flew pretty good though. It's funny, I got these clubs last year. That's probably the sixth time I've hit them. <laughs> I haven't had a lot of time to play golf. I'm gonna change that this year though. All right, same thing, single plane address. Feeling pretty good. Yeah, I killed that. One of the beautiful things about it though is and I'll kind of leave it at this. When you have a nice system you're working off of, it teaches you exactly how to practice. You're never guessing. I hate guessing on the range. I hate guessing on what to do. I, don't want, I want to I know exactly what I'm practicing every single time. It, it creates consistency, which is exactly what you want. And then because of all that, when you go to apply it on the course, you're more consistent. And here's the most important thing. You're going to have more fun. The, the final thing it does for you is it gives you a way of assessing. Because here's the thing, how do you know? Like, if I'm not hitting it good, and I'm, I gotta be able to assess what's good and bad about it. And if I go play a round of golf and I don't hit it well, I, I need to come right back here and easily be able to solve that issue, right? Back, work back on the fundamentals, make sure the positions are good, make sure I'm sequencing, then I can apply it, right? So it gives me a way to solve my problems. That's how a golfer gets to be a great golfer. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Welcome to 2022. Happy New Year. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, click the bell icon. I'll see you in the next video.